Oh, it's a very difficult game. We understand, bro. We understand. Going to be the champion, though. We believe it, honestly. We need another one, bro. We need another one. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right now, like, the Rocky uh, the Rocky anthem is playing for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> playing in the background. Yeah, bro. Hey, you know what? <laughs> He's like, John Cena followed me. So, oh, what? What? did he really? Yeah. Me too, dog. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. Hey, bro, John Cena it. followed you? Yeah, you did. Well, you've been following like, every EDM DJ. Oh, like, yeah, he followed me. Like, hey, <laughs> on YouTube, uh, on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Oh, Twitter. Yeah. Or a word. That's a flex, bro. John Cena follows me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I can't see him, though. <laughs> so, how was the profile picture? Can't you see the profile picture? I don't even know it's him, bro. I could be Gavin. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it'd be it, very hard to prove. Was a check mark there? Like, like, yeah. oh yeah, well, makes yeah. cool. Hey, the check mark is there. It's cool. I don't know who it is though. It could oh. be politician <laughs> John Cena. Politician John Cena. Is there an actual politician named John Cena? Yeah, look. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> he like follows like everybody. Dude, bro. that's wait. We uh, he follows everybody. Like, oh, let me check my shit. Hold up. <laughs> nah, that's, 347,000 people following. God damn. That's dope as fuck. I'm gonna slide in his DMs. You should have chosen his, his theme song for your fucking theme song. I know. Bro. The- hey, you ready to slide into the tempo challenge though? Yeah. Oh, we out here. We oh. out here, bro. <clears throat> YouTube, we out here. SoundCloud, we out here. Risky, we out here, bro. Thank you for coming through to the Guess of Tempo. Hell yeah. Lose the Tempo studio, bro. How you feeling? Loving it. I'm loving it too. Thank you for coming out. Are you are, are you uh, familiar or uh, know about how this Gensa Tempo segment works? I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I was explaining a little bit about uh, how how everything goes, the process of guessing tempos. Uh, well, for those that are just uh, new viewers, new listeners, just tuning in, uh, don't know what Gensa Tempo is. It's a segment we do here at Lucid Tempo where we showcase a bunch of dope underground tracks that we come across on either SoundCloud. Uh, YouTube, Spotify, mostly on SoundCloud though, because you know that's where the that's where all the bobs are at. SoundCloud gang, uh, we put them on here, throw them on record box, and we have our special guests uh, guess the tempos of each track, and uh, we do uh, six rounds of tracks as well. So I'm gonna have you guess uh, six uh, tracks, six bangers of of this week, and not only that, we're gonna give you your own little mini game as well, bro. So let's say like you you miss, you don't get the tempo. Uh, what is it? What is it that you want the viewers or the listeners to do? Like as a uh, as like a consequence, you want them to like take a shot, or you want them oh. to take a follow bong you. hit or something. Follow text, you on Twitter. Text their ex. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> take a butt <laughs> notch. Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Take a shot. Oh, fuck. Take a shot. Okay. Take a shot if I guess one correctly. Oh, take, just... take two shots if I miss. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, there's no way, there's no way around get, uh, God, getting out of drink. it. You gotta drink. Yeah, yeah, uh, you gotta drink. Pretty much. Hey, so whatever you guys are drinking, y'all better get a t- uh, get a shot glass and drink that. All right, a small so, shot glass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a rough one. And then also too, before we start, I wanna I wanna lay out the the guidelines, the rules to the segment, and then also uh, that way the new viewers and new listeners can know what the rules are as well. Okay. So let's say round one plays. Uh, I play the first track. I reveal the BPM and let's say it's 130. And before that, you said 128. Uh, I'll give you the point if it's uh, if it's by uh, by two BPM. So uh, by two BPMs away. It's so BPMs. so if you say 129, that's one BPM away. I'll give you the point. If you had said 127, that's three BPMs away of 130. So you wouldn't get the point. So what if I put like 132? You would have gotten the point too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you're within two points of either side of the BPM, like you'll you'll get the point. Okay. So, um, is that, is that good? Is that, yeah. You understand that? Cool, cool. Pretty straightforward. And we're going we're gonna to do six rounds. Six tracks. And I already got the first track laid out here uh, here for you, bro. And it's called Blank Space. And it's called Midnight. Uh, are you familiar with this artist's name? Uh, the name is kind of familiar, but not the song. All right, for sure. Yeah, let's, let's get familiar with it. This one's called Midnight. Oh, there it is. 
texture, bro. That texture. Yeah. You always know what it's saying. Okay. Blank space, midnight. Go stream that. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description. 128. 128. Final answer. Final answer. All right, man. Let's get into it. Here we go, man. First round, blank space, midnight. Make sure you go ahead and click on the track. Support. Uh, give a follow to the artist if you like uh, the style. It's fire. Make sure to stream that. I hope, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Well, let's get right into it. All right. Record box. What's the BPM on the first round? Oh, oh. damn. Damn. I was gonna say yes. 125, but oh, I was yeah, like, 124. Yeah. Oh. I'm not the champion. Yeah. Nah, nah, it's cool. It's cool. Don't even trip, bro. It's all good. It's all good. It was feeling a little bit like slow. Like it wasn't like 128. I feel like it was like, I thought I was thinking it was like 126. So I like, was con- I confused between 125 and 128. I was like, oh, were you really? Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, what was, like, your, was your gut feeling telling you 128? Or, yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. Because I'm basic. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I feel like it was. I was, I was like thinking one twenty six, cause it's like I, uh, I don't know. I would not have thought one twenty four to be honest. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, big shout out to Bank Space for that record. That's just pretty tight. All right, uh, it's two shots right there. Two sh- hey, there you go. Hey, we don't forget over here. You ready? Get the- hey, two, I would have gone to shot glasses shots. out here too. Damn it. All right, on to the second track. All right, this track is by Muddy and it's called uh, Motherfucking Click. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's all some trap shit. It sounds solid trap. Trap ones? Uh, you might have to get that ready, bro. <laughs> Let's dive into this. Go get that. 145. Oh, okay. You're going 145 route? Yeah. Hmm. Final answer. That's final answer. I will not off. Let's get it, bro. Second round. <clears throat> record box. What's the BPM on this one? Mmm, 75. Damn. Damn. So that's like what? 72.50? Well, that's so that's 150. So you said 145. I was off, but uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I mean, yeah, shit, close, close, so close. I was, con- I always contemplate between 145, 150. I was like, fuck, I should have 150. That was a hard one. I didn't know. <coughs> no, it was. It did sound like 145. It sounded though, really honestly. slow. Yeah. It had like a little slow groove to it. At first, I thought it had a 75, but then I was like, ah, oh, nah, this is like, I'm, I'm. I was thinking like what, like one forty seven, like one forty eight, like really. I was just kind of like, oh yeah. I was How just, do you know I, the I, difference between that? I, I I just don't. I don't know actually. <laughs> it was just a gut feeling. It was just a gut feeling. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I don't know, but this is like one forty seven point five two. What's the weirdest <laughs> BPM you've ever seen on a record? Like, I don't know. Like, like what those weird ones are? Is like, like what's the weird like, one to you? Like one thirteen. <laughs> one thirteen. Like, why? Why? Or it's like 147.5. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I've seen a record like that once. One, It was like a remix, 147.5. Like, you really couldn't decide between 47 and 48. You had to go with 47.5. Make my life difficult. <laughs> that record never got played. <laughs> do, do you think that that's a critical factor? Like, when, it, when a record gets downloaded or gets played out, like... uh like, you think the BPM is, like, a big factor when it comes to no. making it to sets? Or I mean, this is the way I see it. Like, sometimes you need those filler tracks to go from 145 to 150. So, just, like, having a little one, like, 147 helps versus having to make that 5 BPM jump. Or you have to, like, slow a song down and, like, speed a song up. 
kind of like it's just right because because the, the change in the tempo can, can be very obvious when it's like five BPM, but when you go from two to two to three like BPM like tempo switch, it's not as obvious to switch. Yeah, it's like one twenty eight to like one fifty, just like shooting it up. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've done that a lot too as well, uh, for sure. Guilty. All right, bro. So let's go on to the third round. So this next track is by Ulisao and Kana. It's called Memory Cleanser. Yeah. Have you heard of any of these names? I know who Ulisao is. Yeah. Nice. What about uh, Kana? No. Same. This is my first time, uh, you know, seeing this name. And I'm looking forward to it because this is a collaboration with Ulisao. And that's the name that I've, I've been knowing for quite a while, like yeah. more than three years. And Ulisao has just been killing the game, especially with like... Uh, his influence on his own label as well, trying to like uh, curate that uh, future rhythm uh, scene. It's it's pretty tight to see uh, how it's all evolved to and it's continuing to evolve. And one of those tracks is uh, Memory Cleanser, where he gets able to do a lot more of that style. So let me just shut up and we'll get right into it, bro. <laughs> Memory Cleanser. That's just ridiculous. That's nasty. Ooh. Memory cleanser. It was sound kind of. So fire. That has to be like 121. Oh, you might even think it's like 121. It's one- slow. Because I make slow music like that sometimes. Like I make like trap feature based stuff like at 121, 119. It- Kind of sounded a little bit like that. Imagine me just being way off. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I'm clueless too, bro. Like, I don't even know what the BPM is on this one, bro. I feel like it's 121. 121? Damn. True. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Robert, what do you think? Uh, I, I definitely think it's slow. Um, but I feel like it just seems slow for this type of track. Cause it, it what well, is like some to- some sort of rhythm ish type of feel, right? But I still think it's like in the seventy through seventy five region. Yeah. All right, is that what you, that's what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, bro. I, I'm I'm just, I don't even know, but you say one twenty one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Final answer. Well, I I, I don't even know, so let's find out. Let's fucking find out. All right, record box. What's the BPM on this one? Ooh, wow, 140. Way off. 140. It just seems Damn. so slow. Shit. Okay, fuck? one for, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, I feel it. I feel Damn. it. Eddie's giving me that look like you fucked up, bro. <laughs> that's, nah, fuck, that's like dude, that's three ever clear yeah. shots right there for that fucking. Just up. for like a rhythm track, it was slow. So I was thinking like it's in that set. It has to be like some sort of 70, you know? Word, word. Fuck. Not nah, that, God. Yeah, it, it, it is. Like slow when you hear it, like it just sounds mm-hmm. slow, and especially because when it when the drop hits, it's not like for it's not the regular traditional like drop structure of uh, dubstep. It's just like it has like a pause, and like nothing happens like right away. And mm-hmm. then with the groove, sometimes with that gro- slow groove, it, it kind of makes it feel like the time is like much more slower than what it what it that's is. Like that flume groove, I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like about it, too. It's just, like, the groove that comes with the, the style that they, uh, these cats have been making lately. And they can stream that everywhere. Uh, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, Memory Cleanser, Lusau, and Canna. I'll make sure to leave the links in the description. Um, let's get on to the next track. Next round. Fourth round. We got Filmax and Godlands. It's called The Illis. Have you heard of this track? No. Where? Let me put you on, bro. Let's get it. Oh, we just want that trap 
shit today. Uh, it's like jungle trap, bro. That jungle trap? Yeah, we got the. It's the percussions for me. The illus. The illus. Bill Mix. Uh, Godlands. Stream that everywhere. It's fire. Yeah. Shout out Filmax, shout out Godlands. Oh, yeah, that was a banger. I think that was a banger, for sure. They ran the trap on that shit. 150. Hmm. What? I don't know. <laughs> Shoot me the answers, dog. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you think the BPM is? Uh, yeah, what do you it's think like the BPM is? It's like all that is? shit over there. I'm going to go with 144. 144? Oh, okay. That's a very specific answer, isn't it? 144. 144.5. Chill. You know the reason that comes up on half, right? Huh? When you do like, when you hear like 72.5. What? It's halftime. That's because it's halftime. So it would actually. Bro, yeah, you know what? I, I was feeling 140 vibes on this. I was feeling 140 So 144 vibes isn't too bad. Yeah, I was feeling 140 vibes. But I don't know. You're saying 144. I'm getting a little second guess. I, I think it might be 145, dude. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Wrong. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just shut up. I'm gonna stop. I don't, want, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. want to be influenced. He knows. Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Well. Okay. So you are saying? Uh, it's it's slow. One fifty. Final answer. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Fourth round. Phil Max and Godlands. The illest BPM of that record is. Oh, 137. Bro, 137, dude. 137.0. What is that? That's That's a six trap at the. That's like 68.50 right there. Like halftime. 137. 68.50. What'd you think about that halftime, bro? Wow. 137. I'm so bad at this game. No, no, bro. I mean, hey, look, 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 bro. Look. That's 137. Like, how, how can you, how can I expect. Like just anyone to guess the track at one thirty seven. I don't think out for me. I don't think that's a common BPM like in EDM. Like a lot of times, like that's an interesting BPM one thirty seven. Damn. Two ever clear shots. <laughs> that that's crazy. People are gonna die at the end of this. <laughs> you get sued. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, well, right. yeah. I was thinking one forty. I was almost there. Shit. Yeah, but big shout out to both of them. That was a, that was a clean fucking track. I really like that. The yeah, illest. Fire. Fuck. All right, bro. So I got the next track coming up, and for the fifth round, I'm actually gonna include one of the remixes that I've done. Let's put a flip. All right. But I'm gonna call it a remix for the SEO. You know what I'm saying? Because not many people know of it. Or know what a flip is. So we're just gonna call it a remix. So I'm gonna run that it SEO. Says Husky up. remix. Yeah, yeah. So it's a Husky remix of uh, of the Charmander track from. Uh, it's pronounced Amin, right? Amine. Amine. Ah, okay. All right, I, I don't know why I heard other people say it weird differently. Yeah, Amine. So I'm not sure if you heard of the original, but I did like a uh, like a German bass take on it. So it's not really like too bangerish, more like the melodic side of things. So um, yeah, dude, hope you enjoy and uh, hope you like some German bass. All right. So, yeah, let's go. Doesn't that song just came out? Yeah. Damn. Came out like two weeks ago. This was actually his uh, lead single to his album that just came out. Yeah. One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Hmm. That's a good answer. Let me be real. I fucking hate drum and bass. But this is tight. I like this. Okay. I, okay. You know what? I respect that. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know Lucid? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That, that, it'd be that question, bro. It'd just be that question, bro. Putting them on the spotlight. Fuck. Hey, real quick. Uh, Risky, if you had to delete one EDM genre forever, oh what, what genre would that be? It would be fucking drum and bass. <laughs> A drum and bass? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey bro, don't look at the comments. I don't know why. I don't know why don't I was gonna. I was gonna. I don't know why I thought you were gonna say rhythm. Because you were just like, wow. man, fuck these rhythm remakes. Uh, you have the chance. He knows it, though. He knows it. <laughs> Snap yeah. your finger, dog. Do it. Oh, Get dude, rid of all of them. <laughs> fuck 
Uh, I feel it though. Yeah. German yeah. biscuit go. True. Fuck it. Nah, True. <laughs> All right. Well, final answer. Yeah, 165. 165. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Robert? What you feeling? Uh, shit. Off the dough, off the top. Off the top. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna just say one uh, German base shit like halftime at 80, 85. 80, 85. 85. All right, bet. All right, we're gonna get into it. All right, record box. What's the BPM for my remix? That's 170, 82, oh, 87. Oh, 87.50. So what is that? Double? Yeah, so that's actually 175. That's that's where the that's where the track sits at. Oh, because you point five. Okay, true. Makes sense. Yeah, 175. So, yeah, one. Yeah, I mean. That, you know, that's a hard I thing. thought about it going to the 170s too. Oh, did you but, really? But I was like, I was torn between 160 and 170, so I'd swim in the middle. True. Just Drum and bass it. BPM ranges from 80 or even slower than 80 sometimes, but it gets like to primarily it's like an 80, and then they could get kind of fast almost to like late low Texas fast, you know, like 200 BPM type shit. But it, that's too fast. German face that fast is not is not enjoyable for, honestly for me like I like to hear it at a BPM like one seventy five like there's just certain tracks certain genres I like to hear at a really specific tempo it just it just hits right like the well your track for say or your remix that shit was fire as fuck yeah, oh thank fire. you thank you oh, yeah. shout yeah. out to Amine too and the album was called two point five that just came out mm-hmm. fire like that I love that album yeah so I'm trying to do more remixes like like that you know make one remix that's like German bass maybe do one that's like house. No. Then do another one that's like more like dubstep. So I'm just trying to experiment, see what's like, what's what, what you know, what makes me uh, more satisfied. To be I'm honest, I'm gonna do drawing bass at 113 BPM. Damn, that's gonna be fucking <laughs> either really slow or really fast, son. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, 87.50, 175, bro. All right, bro, you ready for the last round? Yes, sir. All right, man. So for the next round, the last round, there's going to be a remix to Virtual Riot and Mode Steps track, uh, This Could Be Us, featuring Frank Zumo. And it's going to be a remix by Catafox. So let's see what remix this guy cooked up. Or they, he, she, whatever y'all be claiming. Run that. BS. What you playing? Kind of Fox remix. 140. That's 140? That's 140. I, I got the approval from Eddie. That's 140. Mm. I feel it. I feel it. Good shot. shit, Eddie. Good shit, Eddie. Hell yeah. <clears throat> what do you think, Robert? I don't know. It was a fire yeah. song. The double... I, I like the kick structure in that shit. Like... Kept it simple, but then added a double kick here and there. It was dope. Kept it really refreshing. I really like it, too. I like this remix. I, I think it might... Uh, I think it's like one of those uh, remix competitions that Disciple did, like, for the official... Like, they did a whole official like, remix competition. I, I Actually, I'm not too sure, but I think this is one of those tracks where they uh, made for their remix competition. A bunch of people joined, a bunch of people won. But I, I think this might have been one of the submissions I won. It's a sick remix. It's fucking clean as fuck. I really like it. Um... But let's see what the BPM is, bro. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's get right to it. All right, for the last round for this remix, let's see what the BPM is. Record box, what is it? Oh, wow. 150. 150, Damn. bro. Oh, my God. That yeah. is... Bro, that's that's ludicrous, bro. So that is so fucking ludicrous. Right this, this is the second drop. What the fuck? Hold up. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold up. Is that a BPM switch? Wait, That's a uh, BPM switch. Oh shit, 120. Oh, this is oh, they switched to 120 on this shit. That's lit as fuck. What the fuck? That's lit as fuck. I don't really think that's a bar. Oh, that shit's dirty. What the hell? 
Just, okay, kind of fun. I see you. I see you. I, I see really you. I was going to party. I want a review on the play. <laughs> you're going to challenge the, it? Get the you're tempo. You're challenge oh. it? Yeah, get the actual. <laughs> Yeah, now, yeah, fuck, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Make sure to go ahead and follow Catafox. Catafox, C A D O F O X, for all you guys that want to know. That shit's fire as fuck. What the hell? Yeah, that shit, fuck, man. Imagine an original. God damn. Sheesh. Nah, but look at that remix, son. Have you ever like heard a remix and never heard the original, and then when you hear the original, you're very underwhelmed? I feel like that's what's gonna happen for this track for me now. Ah, damn it. Because that shit was fucking different. Yeah, I really fucked with it. Yeah. Did you, did you enjoy that track? Like that yeah, one? it was cool. I like I liked that type of shit. Nice, nice, bro. Well, dude, you faced the tempo challenge. You survived through that shit. You got down. We listened to some bangers, bro. You got your fucking... Hey, you're, you're sounding strong, bro. <laughs> hey, but I'm really glad you came out and listened to these bangers with me. Yeah. I had a great time with you to get these tempos. Uh and then have you to come through uh, and also do the spotlight episode we did uh, as well. Uh, was there anything else that you want to plug in before we uh, end this episode and um, get on with the night? No, we good. My man, my man, my man, bro. Well, I'll make sure to put uh, your support link in the description as well. So that way everyone could go ahead and see you for your risky, risking your friend show happening uh, in Downey and uh, next year in January. Somet- sometime in January. We don't know, but... If you want to know, you got to follow Risky. That's uh, it's, uh, it's Risky. You got to go ahead and follow Risky. Make sure to follow us at Lucid Tempo. Make sure to follow Zion Dawn. Make sure to follow myself, Husky. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. And, uh, hit the bell alert button to stay notified. We always be dropping Mondays and Fridays. Uh, even sometimes throughout the week as well with some extra content for y'all. So make sure to go ahead and stay tuned. Give us a follow. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Join our Discord.